Today, I'm going to be showing you the best OBS settings for streaming in 2024. Start by opening the settings via the controls dock in the bottom corner. Select stream from the side. Connect your account or enter your stream key if needed. Then check the box to ignore streaming service setting recommendations at the bottom. Click yes, then apply. Select the output settings from the side, then set the output mode to advanced. Go to the streaming tab and select your stream audio track. I recommend using track one as it's easier. If you're streaming to Twitch, then you can enable the VOD track option, which will use a different audio track for your saved streams. This is often used to prevent music from being saved in the VOD. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to turn it on and set it to track 2 which should be the default track. Set audio encoder to FFmpeg AAC. Set the video encoder to NVIDIA NVENC H.264 if you have an NVIDIA graphics card. For anyone with an AMD graphics card, use AMD HW H.264. And if you have neither option, then use X264. Keep rescale output unchecked. Scroll down to the encoder settings. Set rate control to CBR. Next, we have bitrate, which will depend on your upload speed. If your upload speed is above 12 megabytes per second, then use 8000. With an upload between 10 and 12 megabytes per second, use 6000. With anything lower, use 4000. If you're streaming to YouTube and have an upload speed above 14 megabytes per second, then use 10,000. Set keyframe interval to 2. For preset, use P5 slow or P6 slower if you're streaming and gaming on the same PC. If you're just streaming your camera or have a dedicated streaming PC, then use P6 slower or P7 slowest. If you have a low-end PC, then you may need to use medium. Set tuning to high quality. Set multi-pass mode to two passes, quarter resolution. On a streaming PC, you can use full resolution. Set profile to high, then uncheck look ahead and check psycho visual tuning. Set GPU to zero and max B frames to two. Apply, then go to the audio options on the side. Set sample rate to 48 kilohertz per second and channels to stereo. Select the first desktop audio dropdown and add your primary listening device or default. This is what you use to listen to computer audio with, typically a headset. If you use two different audio devices, then select it using the desktop audio to menu. This might be a chat output on your headset. Set mic auxiliary audio to your microphone, then apply. Go to the video options. For base canvas, you either want to use your screen's resolution or 1920 by 1080. To find your screen's resolution, open the start menu. Search for display settings, then open the settings. Select the monitor you'll be streaming from, then find the display resolution option. You can see the resolution here. Set output scaled resolution to 1920 by 1080. If your output resolution is lower than your base resolution, then the downscale filter option will be available. Set this to Langsos. Make sure FPS is set to common FPS values, then use 60. If you set your bitrate to 4000, then use 30 to get better image quality. Apply, then go to the hotkeys. Select the filter bar at the top and search for streaming. Select the start streaming box and set a keyboard shortcut to start your stream. When this button combination is pressed, you will automatically start streaming. If you use the same hotkey for the stop streaming option, then the hotkey will act as a toggle. You can also set hotkeys to switch to specific scenes in OBS while you stream. Click apply, then go to the advanced options. Set the process priority to normal. For the video options, I just use the default settings. Feel free to copy them if yours are different. Go to the stream delay options and uncheck the box to disable it. This will give your chat the best experience. Apply, then click OK. Head to the audio mixer dock and click the three dots icon to open the options. Select advanced audio properties from the menu. Enable each audio device on your streaming tracks. This should be track one unless you changed it earlier. If you enable the VOD track, then enable the audio devices you want to hear in your VOD. Any device left unchecked won't be heard in your saved stream. Close and you will now have the best OBS settings for streaming. Leave a like if you found the video helpful and check out another video here.